to your eyes I see we're out of time I guess no one's to blame Nobody crossed the line I guess we couldn't see Somehow we couldn't feel Maybe we rose so fast Maybe we got too high But I Monday. If you're new here, hi, my name's Katie. Welcome back to another vlog. We're just gonna ignore this monster zit on my face. She could not be tamed. How you guys doing? It's Monday. It's raining. It's gonna rain literally all day long. It's super gray and cold and gross outside. I have some coffee shop ambience. I got my fire going on and I thought I would just take you guys along for a chill vlog with me today. I have some work stuff to do. I'm also hoping to get a lot of writing done today editing more so. So this morning I've been working on an editing client. I'm doing a manuscript evaluation and for some reason I've been getting a ton of emails today so we're spending a good couple hours on emails but I'm still working on two of my books. I'm revising book one for the marionettes and then I'm also writing book two for that series. So I made some really good progress on marionettes book one over the weekend. I've been tracking my edits with this thing in my journal and I just color in a circle when I finish that chapter. Obviously I've been going out of order. We have 10 chapters left. Left, I think and then I'm gonna send it to Lydia one of my beta readers she read an earlier draft of this book so she's gonna look over what I hope to be one of my last drafts of the book and let me know what she thinks and once I finalize this first book I feel like I'll be able to really focus back in on book two that book I'm about 40,000 words into right now so we're gonna do work stuff first editing clients emails that kind of stuff and then once all of that's done then we'll jump over to my projects. I feel so productive. I'm in such a good mood. I like deep cleaned my condo over the weekend to the point where I like vacuumed all of the cat hair out of my couch, took off all of the cushion covers, washed them, literally used a fabric shaver to get like the pilling and stuff off of the cushions, like vacuumed, bleached my bathroom. This place is sparkling and that just always makes me feel more productive. So yeah, book one right now is a little over 70,500 words. It's funny, I came up with this list of like overused words or crutch phrases that I tend to use to do a sweep of and I've only made it through like half of my list. It's literally like so many pages long and I cut like 600 words from this manuscript just like one by one cutting out these words. It was insane. Some of them are just commonly overused things that I feel like most writers have to cut out of their work. I'm trying to find some examples. Enough, almost, actually, finally, immediately, seem or seems, suddenly, even, just, slight or slightly. And then I had like my weird tics for whatever reason. They're different for every book that I write, but for this one, I had a couple of phrases that I used a lot. For one thing, I found, mostly because this is a first person point of view, I had a lot of things to do with eyes and sight. So I had to look for eye or eyes, but then also like look, looks, looking, glance, glances, gaze, stare, anything to do with eyes and like looking and glances and stuff like that. I had to look for all of those words. They were definitely overused. And then also mouths I tend to focus on a lot, like lips curling, grins, smiles, smirks, all of that kind of stuff. Eyes widening, that's an issue for me, that's back to eyes, but eyes widening or narrowing. I had a weird fascination with breath in this book too. Shaky breaths, shuddering breaths, things like that. I also had a lot of like settling into silence or like settling, silence, and quiet were three words I had to look for. Flicker, flickers, flickering also because of eyes. <laughs> oh, another big one for me was appear. Appear is such a bad word for me because I overuse it because it can work for so many different things. Like someone like appears around the corner. Someone goes to the fridge to grab something and they appear with it. Like someone disappears into the hall. Like I just use, that's my default word for any kind of transition. So anyway, these are some of the overused words I've been also trying to cut. Not while I'm doing the chapter by chapter, I'm just doing the search and replace through the whole manuscript when I feel like I need a break from going chapter by chapter. So that that's another step in this revision. The text is looking a lot cleaner now. It's it's so obvious when word like highlights how many are like on the page or how close they are together. But when you're reading something that you've read like 30 times, you just 
you just don't see it. But that's what we're up to. I'm gonna get to work. I'll update you later. So now I'm sending out the sign-up form for my signed copies restock on my newsletter. So if you're subscribed to my newsletter, check your inbox. The last day to be able to basically pre-order before I order the next restock is the 9th. It's Mother's Day. Sunday. Last day to order because I'm ordering the books on the 10th. So I don't know when this video is going up, but if you're not subscribed to my newsletter so you didn't get the link to the form to sign up, I'll also put it down below in the description and make sure to sign up for my newsletter so you don't miss out on stuff like this in the future. Isn't that right, Dean? He doesn't care. and everything. Now it's time to move over to my own projects and I was having a hard time focusing on the couch so we've moved into the office but I wanted to show you something. I got this huge order and I wasn't vlogging that day so I didn't show you. I got a ton of makeup. It's excessive I am aware. Elf was having this huge sale the other day. It was like 40% off their entire website so I bought their entire website basically. I love e.l.f. Um, this is not sponsored or anything or gifted. I bought it all myself but they're vegan, they're cruelty free, they're affordable, I love their products no downside. So yeah, I spent like $80 on makeup, but let me show you how many things I got. Cause like the way that I justified this to myself is if I were to go into like Sephora and spend $80, it'd be like two things. So I got their entire rose gold lip vault with all of these different colors. This is really shiny. I've also been loving their skincare lately. I got some other skincare from them a while ago and I decided to pick up this time this gentle peeling exfoliant so you just put it on like two to three times a week I did it the other night it makes my skin feel amazing I actually really like their skincare then I also got this glow radiant moisturizer it's just something I put into my morning routine it's a moisturizer and SPF and then because I love their camo concealer so much my camera's dying we gotta make this fast I decided to try their camo CC cream and this was so much more full coverage than I was expecting. It's what I have on today and I really like it. I also got some eyeshadow. I got this big one that's rose gold and nude. And then I got a mini one called Bite Size Truffles with these colors. And then I got their professional brush kit. It came with all of these and their brushes are actually really nice. And on sale it was like $10. I also got a lip gloss, a blush like chubby stick thing. I really liked this. This came out like a lot thicker than I was expecting. It was really good. They sent me a free gift because I spent so much money so I got a highlighter brush. So naturally I got some highlighter. I got this eyeliner pen and I had a regular liquid eyeliner from them. This pen is amazing. It was so easy to put my eyeliner on this morning. Highly recommend. And then I think the last thing I got was this no bud shadow stick in like blue. It's basically like blue eyeshadow. I thought it'd be fun to like, I don't know, play around interesting looks for like filming and stuff. Anyway, I gotta go plug in my camera, but we're gonna jump over and work on the marionettes now. I also ordered groceries a little bit ago, so those should show up hopefully soon. The groceries have arrived, so let's do a really quick haul. I got some flowers for no reason. I just like getting flowers. Got some vegan cheese. I got some sweet tarts, tater tots. This bag is just like not my healthy bag. <laughs> Almond milk, ketchup, granola bars, go macro bars, protein bars, guacamole, spinach, cat food, ice drinks, pretzels and pita chips, uh, squash and potato, popcorn, baked lays. These are both of my energy drinks, I think, or this one and this one. Uh, bananas, bread and bagels. Not that I think any of these are particularly interesting, but I forgot to show you my vegan cream cheese. I got some cocoa powder and some sea salt. Some flowers on a very gray and gloomy day. There's like no sun whatsoever. I don't know if I said this in this vlog. This is our book club pick for this month. So I've been reading this. It's been really good so far. I asked her to pick up white roses and this is what she came back with, but I actually like these. These are really cute. They actually fit the vase, not like the last ones that I got. What do you think, Deanie? I've been napping all day. That's what I think. Okay, we did chapter seven and chapter three. I've turned this into a little game of <laughs> connect the dots. Then we'll just have 
act two basically i'm gonna end the vlog here so i don't forget about it it's actually not that late but i'm gonna go sit on the couch and watch twilight and drink vodka and maybe possibly do some more editing for this book maybe possibly not thanks for hanging out if you don't follow me on instagram and you didn't see this for one thing if you want to follow me on instagram i'm at kate's book date i feel like this is focusing on this instead of my face um when i finish this draft of the marionettes i'm gonna reveal the blurb where i'm not sure oh did I not say this in a video yet? I said this in our live stream talking about the anti-relationship year. I now have a Facebook group called Marionettes. Bear with me as I figure out how to even do Facebook groups. I don't really use Facebook, but I thought it would be a fun idea to have kind of like a reader group. So it's legitimately just going to be about the series and like the content of the books and I'll like moderate and like put fun posts in there like sharing the blurb and sharing the cover before anyone else gets to see it updates on the series and stuff but then also like discussion boards so you can talk with other readers stuff like that is the purpose of the page it's new i just made it but if you want to join it i'll have the link down below the blurb might go up there first but i'll put it everywhere eventually so anyway yeah i'm gonna share the blurb when i'm done with this draft we have eight chapters to go so that's something to look forward to if you haven't already you can add this book on goodreads there's also a playlist on spotify that you can listen to question of the day leave me a comment down below if you have read my books i would love to know which one is your favorite i'm just genuinely curious because i feel like my favorites are not the like general consensus favorites i'm always surprised by which ones people say are their favorites so if you want to share your why i'd be interested to know if you just want to tell me which one is your favorite that works too but other than that i will see you guys in another video very very soon you know the drill links down below like and subscribe if you're feeling generous and i'll see you guys in my next video very very soon bye no.